Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our 99th day, day number 99. The last lesson that I did was quite some time ago, day 98, the video that I taped for those of you for those of you who have been watching this thing on a regular basis, I taped it on December 5th, 2015 and today, believe it or not, it happens to be almost the end of July, July 29th, 2016. So it's been some time that I have done these videos and I want to come back to these, uh, these lessons and take care of them. Today, as I said, is our day number 99. Let's see what we have for today. The very first that we, word that we have here is hibernate. Hi. Next syllable would be bur, and then nate. What does it mean to hibernate? It's a word. What does it mean? Hibernate means to to be. To be inactive, to be, to be inactive, or if you like, to be dormant. The word hibernate is used typically when we're talking about animals who live in the cold, cold, cold region of the world, in the Arctic and so forth. They typically pass their winter hibernating. So. It also means literally to pass, to pass the winter in a state of inactivity. And the noun, of course, would be noun, of course, would be hibernation. So these animals go through a period of hibernation during the winter and then they come out when it begins to get a little bit warm they come out or in the, uh, out of their state of hibernation the word is hibernate we just learned the word here a synonym dormant let's learn that thing let's learn that word it is to be pronounced door it's not dormant it's not dormant it's dormant it's pronounced munt Dormant. It's an adjective. This is to, to be dormant, which means to be inactive. To be in a state of inactivity. To be to be in a state of inactivity. Dormant. One would use this word, for example, a uh, way we can use this thing is that uh, for one might talk about our account being dormant. An account, if you have an account in the bank and you did not deposit any money in it, if you don't withdraw any money in it and it just sat there with no activities in it at all, then I don't know what the laws are, but after some period of time, I think the bank has, banks are allowed to just get rid of their account because it's been sitting dormant. It's not active. Nothing is happening there. So such an account is called a dormant account. Let's learn one more word which is related to, to what we're talking about. And the word is going to be... Hi, a, tus. It's a noun. Hiatus. What is a hiatus? A hiatus is a break. Hiatus is a break. It's a gap. It's a gap in an activity or work. It's an interruption. 
it is an interruption. So if we have interruption in an activity, if you have an interruption in some sort of work, some sort of activity, you say we are having hiatus, a pause, that's what it is, it's a pause. A period of hibernation is what it is, a hiatus is a period, a period of hibernation. But typically, typically hibernation is much longer. Hiatus could be a very short period. It just means you're taking a break. Let's move on then. The next three words that we're going to learn, just like these were, these words were all related to each other, the next three words we're going to learn are also going to be related to each other, but the next three words have absolutely nothing to do with what we've been talking about so far. These are completely unrelated words. Let's learn them, shall we? First word I have here is you see how to pronounce it how to, how to pronounce the word. The first level is gonna be that ro man detriment. It's a noun. Anything that causes harm, damage, injury, or a loss is said to be a detriment. Anything, anything that causes harm, injury, injury, damage, or what else did I say? Or a loss is said to be a detriment. Is said to be to be a, you see it's a noun, it's said to be a detriment. What will be the adjective of it? It's very simple. The adjective would be detrimental. Detrimental. Let's learn, some, let's learn some synonyms, shall we? If something is described as being detrimental, it means that it is, it is harmful. Of course it's harmful because we just said that it, something that is detriment causes harm. We have it here somewhere, right here. If it's harm, if it causes harm, it's harmful. If it causes injury, injury is a noun. Do you know the adjective of injury? Adjective of injury would be Injurious. It's, these are all adjectives. These are all adjectives. And then finally, we're going to learn one more word, which is deleterious, which we'll, we'll, which, which we'll get to in a second. Okay? But anyway, that was the word detriment. Let's learn the word injurious, even though it's a very simple word, let's take care of it. So one more time, what is a detriment? A detriment is something that causes harm, injury, damage, a loss. Do you understand? And such a thing is said to be, and such a thing is said to be detrimental. The word we're going to learn now is injurious. It's an adjective, as we said before, right here. It's an adjective, and it's pronounced in jur. Third syllable is e. And the last level would be us, injurious. Simply means capable of causing an injury. Something that is capable, capable of causing an injury. Some might, one might say that, uh, one might say that, for example, one might use the word injurious as, as in smoking. Smoking is injurious to one's health. Smoking is injurious to one's health. Of course, smoking is injurious to one's health. Everybody knows that. Everyone knows that. Injurious is in, uh, smoking is injurious to one's health. It is detrimental to one's health. It is 
deleterious. Let's learn the word deleterious next, shall we? The word was injurious, which simply, which is simply an adjective of the word injury. Simple word injury, everybody knows it. It is the adjective that we have to work on. Let's learn the word deleterious. Again, it's an adjective, of course. Let's learn the pronunciation first. Del, e, ter, e, us. Del, e, ter, e, us. Deleterious. Deleterious simply means having a harmful effect. If something is described as being deleterious, it has a harmful effect. Having a harmful effect. If something is deleterious, it is so called because it is injurious. It causes injury. It is detrimental. That was it. That was the three words we want to learn. We wanted to learn that uh, that were related. Now we're going to move on to another group of words, maybe three or four words, which also have absolutely nothing to do with nothing to do with what we've been talking about. These are new group. A new group. This is a new. This is going to be a new group of words, which are all related to each other. Let's learn them, shall we? I cannot believe I've been procrastinating for almost seven months. I said to myself, one day I'm going to finish this thing, day 99 and day 100. Today is the day. And finally, I decided to do it today because there are other videos that I want to make on different things. And I've been holding everything off until I finish this series, so I had to get it out of the way. Let's learn a new one, shall we? is reprove. The noun is going to be reprove. It's a word. Reprove. What does it mean to reprove? Reprove means to show disapproval. To show, to show disapproval. If you do not approve of something, you reprove it. To find fault with something. Reprove means to find to find faults with something. To find fault with something. Now you understand that even though my handwriting may be atrocious and even though I may go around abbreviating things, but I always make a point of reading it as I'm writing it, so as long as you're paying attention to what I'm saying, you should have no reason to complain that you are having trouble with the handwriting because it was read to you. To find fault with something. This will be with, this will be without. To find fault with something. Reprove means to scold someone. To scold someone. To rebuke. Here's a good word. To rebuke. And finally, to show, to show to show disapprobation. Don't hyphenate it like the way I just did it. I was doing it for the effect. It means to show disapprobation. Don't say disapprobation like I just did. Do you understand? Don't hyphenate it. To show disapprobation. Let's learn this first, shall we? What will be the adjective of it? If you reprove it, you're reproving it because you find it, because one finds it. Reprovable. You find it reprovable, meaning that you find you uh, meaning that uh, you think that it is it is deserving of scolding, it is deserving of rebuke, it is deserving of disapproval. You rebuke it. Is, re is reprovable. 
and the adverb would be adverb would be the mother looked at the child reprovingly in other words from the look on the face child could see that the mother is not too keen on what he's doing the mother does not approve it she doesn't approve it she's scolding her child scolding her so it's scolding the child even though she may be doing it doing so passively I won't go there I don't know why I introduced this word but I know we have learned the word tacit if I remember it in the next video I'm going to tell you which day we learned it if this is day number 99 we did learn tacit if I remember it, as I said I'll tell you in the next video so it's from official expression she did not say anything her reproval was tacit her rebuke was tacit she did not use any words let's continue Re reprovingly was the was the uh, adverb let's learn the word rebuke rebuke simply means let's first let's put down the pronunciation here Re rebuke I'm not going to rewrite everything it simply means to criticize harshly to criticize harshly rebuke it means everything else that we said here if you're rebuking someone you're scolding them you're showing disapproval you're finding fault with something you're showing this disapprobation let's talk about the word disapprobation on the top of the board the antonym the antonym of disapprobation would be it has two p's Antonym, of course, would be approbation. App, ro, be, be, shun, approbation. And again, for those of you who have been doing a good job with the vocabulary lessons, you would recognize these words because we learned this word because we learned it on day number fifty-one. And it's a word. And if it's a word that we have learned already, we're not going to spend too much time on it because we can't go around keep repeating, to repeating words. We learned it on day 51. If you're interested in learning it properly, watch the video, vocabulary words, day 51. It will, it will be, it will be. Approbation means it's a praise. Approbation is a praise. It's an approval. It's an approval. It's a, well, here's another word. We also learned the, the, on the same day, day number 51, we learned this word. It's a commendation. It's a commendation. What does it mean to commend? Commend means to show approval, to praise. If you're commending someone, if you're commending someone, which is also on day number 51, I'm not going to put it on the blackboard, the meaning. If you're commending someone, you are showing approval. You, you are telling them good job. Do you understand? You're showing approbation, to commend. Commendation would be the noun because approbation is a noun. So that was the end of this. Let's see if I have anything more to say. Well, let's talk about a couple of a uh, couple of antonyms, shall we? We talked about. Actually, these are not antonyms. I take it back. I, I retract it. These are not antonyms. These are still continuation of synonyms. Let's learn a couple of more words, which means that you are not too keen on what the person is doing. The word is, it's a very simple word, for a native speaker it's going to be a very simple word. The word is, of course, knock, it's a word. What does it mean to knock? It means to find fault, to find fault with something. It means to, to criticize, to criticize, it means to Belittle. I know the marker is dying, perhaps I should change it. And finally, it means to it means to deride. D-E-R-I-D-E. -E, deride. I'm gonna change the marker. Give me a second. What does it mean to deride? Let's first learn the pronunciation. and then ride. It's a long I, you understand? It's a long I, deride. What does it mean to deride? It means, deride means everything else. It means to 
to belittle someone, to mark someone, to rebuke someone, to, to rebuke. To, to be little, to mark, to make fun of someone, to make this too proper job. It doesn't actually mean to be rebuke. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. This too proper job of it. Deride means to. If you're deriding someone, you're making fun of them. To. To make fun of someone. It doesn't mean to criticize or to rebuke. It's there here because it's a loose sort of synonyms. It's a loose synonym, it's not the exact synonym, but deride means to make fun of someone, to make fun of someone. It's not a good idea to do a terrible job, uh, to, to, to not do a good job, to make fun of someone, to belittle someone, to belittle someone, to ridicule, to ridicule someone, to look down on someone. To look down on someone. If you look down on someone, you're deriding them, you're making fun of them, you're belittling them, you are ridiculing them. What part of speech is deride? Deride is a verb. What is the noun of it? Should we learn it? The noun of deride would be, let's put it on the top. Let's put it on the top. The noun of deride would be, Un. Notice the noun has a Z sound in it. Z. It's no longer pronounced with an S. It is Z. It, even though it's an S, it's pronounced with a Z sound. Derision. Derision is a noun of deride. What's the adjective? You know the adjective? The adjective of deride would be. Derisive. Again, you see, it switches from Z to S sound. Derisive, derision, derision, derisive. What's the adverb? The adverb would be. Derisively. He spoke derisively. That means he, when he was speaking, he was making fun of me. You can give somebody a derisive look. Or he looked at me derisively, mockingly, belittling, in a belittling manner. That is all I have to say for today. We'll come back tomorrow and finish up this series, day, day number 100. Okay? I hope you got something out of it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.